Christian and I lead the Novartis Biome here in Singapore. Uh, we are one of many digital innovation hubs um, across the planet with, with the sole remit of, of finding, working with, and co-developing uh, digital health solutions with some of the leading health tech companies uh, on the planet. Um, you know, some of the things that we look at uh, would be digital therapeutics. We might look at point of care diagnostic devices. We might look at uh, AI augmentations to facilitate clinical decision support. Uh, and, and a myriad of other emerging areas which um, come with, with this exciting um, thrust of innovation that, that's happened in, in recent years. I'll be moderating the panel on accelerating pharmaceutical agility in the digital age, uh, where I'm really excited to be um, you know, helping to facilitate some great conversations uh, with experts in the field, uh, from, from, my, from my, everyone from, from my peers in the pharmaceutical industry to um, people who've witnessed firsthand transformation in their organizations and, and, and are now looking to help other companies do the same. Um, so what does digital transformation entail and what are some of the things which we're going to be talking about uh, would be um, as, as pharmaceutical companies move towards um, becoming digital uh, entities. Uh, so, so everything from the production of, of, of what we, of medicine really, the production of medicine, the, the delivery of that medicine, the engagement with the right stakeholders in order to make sure that patients in the right regions and, and with a larger reach basically have access to that medication. Uh, these are all probably conversations which will transpire at this panel. Um, and we're also going to be looking at, to that effect, um, as we move towards digital transformation, what are some of the levers that need to be pulled in order to effect positive change? So whether that be the configuration of the organization itself, how do, how do we structure teams to be more agile? How do we ensure that, that there is a seamless transition of, of a, say, a digital health product uh, from, from the research, from the lab, from R&D, to commercialization, and finally to the patient? Uh, this, this might be one of those questions that we're gonna be asking. We're also gonna be looking at, what does the talent of tomorrow look like in a pharmaceutical company? Given, given the advent of, of digital technology, does that mean um, you know, digital, digital skill sets like, for example, user experience uh, or, or programming or computer science or data science come to the fore when evaluating candidates for uh, a pharmaceutical role? Or would, it that, or would it be that these are not so important uh, as you think about it, but rather um, having a localized and contextualized way of teaching your own employees these skill sets within the bounds and the construct of what you are trying to achieve as a pharmaceutical company. Um, and these are all great conversations which we are going to have as we explore the, the future of, of tech and the future of talent, specifically within, within a digital transformation and within pharmaceutical companies. Um, what do I interpret? So the 2021 theme of From Factory to Frontline uh, for me is, is, is interesting, right? Because um, in the field of innovation, you, you tend to take a, a systematic or, or holistic view of, of, of what needs to change in order to, to create the outcome of the products that you want to deliver at, at the end stage. Now, when we look at factory to frontline, this entails everything from the production of, of, say, medicine through to the way in which uh, we market or we, or we push these, these uh, medications out into, into a, a space where, you know, the the channels and the delivery of, of, of different uh, therapies have, have exploded. How do we make sure that um, within the bounds of, of safety, within the bounds of, 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 of regulation, we are able to deliver that um, in, in, in a way that expands patient reach, in a way that, that makes sure that um, you know, medicine is something that becomes increasingly accessible to every single human on this planet. And I think that is ex you know, extremely important and extremely interesting as we explore from factory to frontline. So what I'm hoping to, to really learn from the other uh, uh, panels and in sessions would be topics pertaining to this and, and actionable ways in which um, I can contribute to, to this shift as an industry. Uh, and, and I think you know, there's plenty to learn in that, in that area. So really looking forward to it and uh, looking forward to seeing you there uh, at, at the conference and at the Accelerating Digital uh, Pharmaceutical Agility in the H, Digital Age uh, panel.